Weather from where you live. Well, 1967 was a very wet fall. As a matter of fact, on this date in 67, still had a lot of corn and soybeans still left in the field. And to add insult, more heavy rain, and we were on the north edge of a severe weather outbreak that, well, from southwest Kentucky all the way up into central Indiana, confirmed 14 tornadoes and some damaging winds got as far north as Montgomery and Boone counties. We had seven confirmed tornadoes in Indiana. Uh, the closest tornado to our viewing area was northeast of Greencastle. There is the storm system. Here's the state of Indiana. Louisville, Kentucky here. There's Lafayette. And the low moved just like that. And it was right in this sector here where we had the severe weather. And we had the tornadoes all up through this area in addition to damaging winds. And, of course, brought more rainfall. Notice the totals from that system. 2.39 inches at Winnemac and almost an inch and two-thirds at Lafayette. There's a big storm in the west, actually two centers with this big storm, really the, the most significant coastal storm we've had in about five years on the west coast. One storm's moving into Canada, the other one is down here west of LA, and this will move eastward. Eventually it's going to kind of fall apart over the mountains of the west, but it will hold on enough to bring uh, a little upper low into our area with a few showers by Monday night and Tuesday. But what's interesting this is a squall line, typical of what you see in the Midwest, that may produce some isolated tornadoes and some severe weather tonight as it rolls into Southern California of all places. It'll also bring flooding rain there as well. For us tonight, frosty, some fog in places, and then turning warmer and a decent amount of sun for most of tomorrow. The clouds will roll back in by evening, and the weekend looks mostly cloudy. There are the few showers Monday night, Tuesday morning from what's left of that Southern California low. And then more winter-like pattern coming in just before Christmas. Now, after 20 to 25 tomorrow morning, we'll be 40 to 45 generally in the afternoon, though we may get to 46 at Covington, Crawfordsville, and perhaps New Richmond. A little warmer on Saturday, upper 40s to low 50s, 48 Logansport, 51 Lafayette, 49 Remington. The issue? A lot of clouds on Saturday. Tonight we're mostly clear, but tomorrow, you know, most of the day we'll have a decent amount of sun, some scattered clouds, but look what's lurking to our west. The low clouds start to come in. In fact, by 513 tomorrow evening, low clouds start to overspread the area again. We're overcast tomorrow night into Saturday, into Saturday night. At best, we'll have a few holes in the overcast here and there, and eventually the cold air comes in. I think before Christmas, we've got two systems to monitor and near the about 21st to 22nd time period, two storms, and depending on how far north they get, that'll determine if we get snow out of them. But they're southern storms, and those systems you've always got to watch when it starts to get colder for accumulating snow here. Here's your 51 Saturday, your 54 Sunday, 52 on Monday, a few showers Monday night into Tuesday morning. And then 41 and 40, respectively, Wednesday and Thursday of next week. And then again, once we get a little closer to Christmas, turning colder. Highs back down into the 20s. And, you know, we'll watch those two systems if, you know, we may get some snow out of those. A white Christmas isn't bad, yes. but we're still two weeks away.